Good morning. Right, today we're going to attempt a service on a diesel MG6. So it's got the 1.9 turbo diesel engine. First thing to do, remove the engine cover. So I've had a quick look around the engine and there is absolutely no sign of an oil filter. So first thing to do is to jack the car up and remove the engine tray below. So join me under there in a few minutes. Okay, so the car's now safely jacked up and on axle stands. To show you underneath. So you've got this front cover, which doesn't need to be removed. And then as you move further back, you can see there's a secondary cover. This one's held on with four bolts at the front, two at each side, and then two at the sort of furthermost corners. On mine, one side has, um, has vanished completely, so it's obviously been dragging on the road at some point in its past. So the first stage is to undo those all 10 mil bolts um, and then remove that cover. So with the cover now removed and climbing underneath, you can just about make out where the filler housing is, um, and it, the filter housing, sorry, and it is up at the top of the engine. It is just there. I can also notice the underside of the, the sump, and there has been a bit of a leak coming from the drain plug on mine. But other than that, thankfully, it looks nice and dry above. So give that a bit of a clean up whilst the tray's removed. Um, so the next task is to go to the top and see if I can get to the head of that filter housing and make sure I've got a socket that fits before removing any oil. So we'll go back up to the top of the engine. So after some digging around, I found it's a 36 mil socket and you need a long extension bar. And then it's a case of fishing around the back of the engine. And you're looking at somewhere about there, making sure it's fully on and then just make sure that it'll turn. Okay, that is now turning, thankfully. So now we can go back underneath and drain the oil. Okay, oil is now draining. It's a 17 mil um, socket you want on the drain uh, bolt um, and mine was only finger tight bizarrely it was uh, yeah loose already so do make sure you torque those up when um, replacing them so I'm gonna leave this to drain and head to the top and remove the oil filter cartridge okay so oil filter uh, cartridge comes out with the lid when you undo it and you'll see there's two o-rings at the top and your new filter should come with replacement o-rings and there's one that goes around the actual uh, sort of lid as it screws in so now we can remove that clean up the housing and go and find the new filter just a quick word about the diesel engine fitted to the mg6 as it seems to be steeped in mystery and there's very little information about it on the internet it is a Kungming Yunai D19 engine, um, fitted to other diesel cars on the Chinese market, but developed specifically for the UK market MG6 diesel. So parts are difficult to get hold of, um, and some parts for the MG6 diesel are listed incorrectly as well on eBay, particularly things like brake, brake discs and pads, particularly for the, um, the facelift uh, diesel MG6. But service parts are currently available aftermarket as well as from, from dealers. I'd say always contact a um, an MG dealer for parts initially because there seems a lot of um, people saying things aren't available but they haven't actually called MG um, parts to check first. In terms of the oil filter, uh, that's the part number, readily available from main dealers but also aftermarket and this kit I think this is about £11-£12 and you get a new uh, o-ring for the casing and it comes with new o-rings on the actual filter itself so easy enough to get hold of and cheap enough to um, to buy for it at the moment 
So I've just got the new cartridge out of its wrapper, and as you can see, it comes with a nice new O-ring to go on the um, on the lid there and the casing. It goes in that, that groove uh, just there. Uh, but looking inside, I've noticed there's a slight issue in that two of the clips, the ones to the left and the right, looking in now, are completely broken on this, which is where these these clips on the filter cartridge clip in. So I'm just going to remove that bit on the left just in case that comes loose and um, then works its way around into, into the oil filter itself and I'm going to need to make sure I clip the actual filter onto to those two on the left and right now which still look intact but yeah I don't know if it's the, the plastic because it's getting old getting brittle but not ideal so I'm going to need to look out for a new one of these at some point um, yeah not brilliant but we can carry on. So I'm just going to put some oil around the new O-ring and locate it onto the lid here. Filter now back in the housing and I've put just a bit of um, multi-purpose oil around the O-rings just to lubricate them to ensure it fits into the housing nice and easily. And it's clipped into the housing on those two good points so you can turn it upside down it won't fall out which will aid with locating it into the housing. So yeah next step is to go back and uh, locate this back into the housing. 